Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going with episode number 55 of the Arsenal Crew Mode. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having an amazing day. I've got my new desk. I'm so hyped. And yes, there will be a gaming setup coming probably within the next three days. I might try and get one done for Wednesday. And yeah, it's just amazing. It feels so much better. Like There's so much more room to work and I feel just more motivated in a way to make content because everything is just a lot nicer and I will show you all of that on the gaming setup video which will be coming very soon but today we started with again a game against Brighton and I decided to play Eduardo Vargas up front over Giovanni Dos Santos or Danny Welbeck to give him a chance he is obviously our youngest striker at a club in terms of overall and I thought that it was only fair really to give him a chance to prove himself and he wasn't fantastic his work rates I'm not too sure what they are off the top of my head I think they're like medium high maybe no high medium I don't quite know if someone wants to correct me in the comments feel free but he was always in the right position and he started off this game in the opening half an hour though he didn't get a goal he was doing so well and he does eventually pick himself up a goal in the 40th minute which was completely deserved and I'm so in, I'm so I'm so what I'm so happy even that I brought him in as a transfer I've seen people use him before in career mode and he is just an absolute god even though he is only still like a 78 I think overall I'm not too sure something like that anyway but I was hoping for more of a, a battering at Brighton, you know, it's an hour into the game and we were only 1-0 up, which was a little bit disappointing against the Championship side, so considering the level of our side and the fact that we are like 14 points clear right now at the top of the Premier League, and we will be trying to continue that on again in the second game, which is against Manchester United. And in other good news for Arsenal fans today, like myself, we actually drew against Chelsea, which was, as, may, as much as you may think you've pretty much gifted Chelsea the league now with that draw, we never beat Chelsea. And a draw against Chelsea, I will take that every day of the week. But in other news, Eduardo Vargas goes and scores himself his second goal of the game. And our second goal of the game as well. And he is having an absolutely banging game. I might actually play him more even in bigger matches because he's just proving an absolute poacher. And I was hoping he could complete his hat-trick. And Jack Wilshere comes through on goal here. Surely he's going to score and he hits the post. I don't know how. But he does, and hopefully this week, guys, we can also get back on track with uploads as well. I know I've been a little bit behind recently, but look at that. Vargas, another finesse shot, another goal. He is so deadly from close range, and if you are at a lower league club, or maybe a lower Premier League club, and you need an, a, a very clinical striker in the second season, go for Eduardo Vargas. I might even bring him back to us when we start our new career mode, which will probably be with Dortmund, and that will be after this one ends. So it's tempting that we will bring him in, because I'm going to sim the first season of that career mode when we do start it. Hopefully that will be coming up soon. We still do have about... I'd say 8 episodes maybe left of the Arsenal career mode so it's not all over yet we have 11 Barclays Premier League games left which is going to be like another 5.5 episodes worth which is pretty good and you can see we do go in to the Barclays Premier League against Manchester United we are at home and we are playing pretty much our strongest team here with the likes of Gonalons and Ramsey in the midfield Sanchez and we do play Walcott out on the left over Pedro but him and Pedro are the same rating so it's not really making the team any week. You can see Manchester United, as we do know, they do have Benteke and Jean Martinho in their team. So whether or not that would be a trouble for us, I wasn't too sure. And I wasn't too sure how this game was going to go. Man United are always a team that I don't know how they're going to play. They are very unpredictable. They do have Lin Andreas Lindegaard in goal, which is a start because he's not the best. But look at this one-touch football from United. And Wayne Rooney does score, which kind of was like, oh God, like here we go. This could be an absolute rout if we let it. But I was feeling quite confident, and Man United, as I said, don't have the strongest defence in the league. So if we could get, like, De Santos or Walcott or Alexis, you know, let loose on their defence, there is a high chance we are going to be able to absolutely penetrate. And you can see De Santos doing that right there. And we are still playing on world class, but look at that. Just absolutely classy. And that's why I love him. He's so quick, and he is so clinical as well. And he proves it yet again why he is such a good striker and I'm so glad that we brought in Dos Santos he has been an absolute godsend for us although he has only scored nine goals this season he's still an absolute tank and his goals are always very important and it was very important in this case because I really did not want to lose against Manchester United obviously one of Arsenal's biggest rivals in kind of the recent 10 to 15 years of the Premier League and definitely someone that we did not want to be losing to 
We do continue here. Still 1-0 in that with three minutes to go. Looking like we were heading for a draw here at the Emirates, which wasn't the worst. You know, we are still top of the league by a long, long way. And we did end up getting a draw, which I was very pleased with, although we should be looking for the win. A draw against Man United is never a bad thing for Arsenal. I think all Arsenal fans would agree. If we get a draw against Man United, I think it's in a couple of weeks' time in the league, I would be very happy with that because they are a team that pose a massive threat to us. And we do sometimes slip up against them, which has happened before, like 8-2, I think it was, but... YOLO. Anyway, we do get some other just crappy emails there that you can see, and we do actually speed up this little bit here of our simulator. Next episode, we'll have the game against Swansea, which will be a full live commentary. But until then, guys, if we can smash five likes on this video, as always, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and I'll speak to you guys in the next video.